巨大コンテナ船に大阪城を持った大人のアミューズメントパークここに出入りできるんは指折りの VIP だけなんやで。The Yakuza series, now known as the Like a Dragon series, is a special one. Not many games have managed to tell a compelling story while at the same time let you partake in incredibly nonsensical activities. One minute you'll be engaged in a Yakuza blood war, the next you'll be finding rolls and rolls of toilet paper for a man stuck in the can. It's this juxtaposition that has made the game so revered by almost everybody who plays them. The series has now entered a new era, with the former primary protagonist Kazuma Kiryu settling for, at best, a joint lead role with the new starring man Ichiban Kazuga, but RGG Studios loves a spin off, and the latest of these Yakuza offshoots, the mouthful that is Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, is releasing this November and focuses on Kiryu as he goes undercover between the events of Yakuza Like a Dragon and the upcoming Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. I got to go hands on at Gamescom, and it's wild. <laughs> From the 20 minutes I got with the man who erased his name, everything seems to be amped up to 1000. The demo starts with Agent Kiryu in a helicopter flying towards an inconspicuous ship named the Castle. Upon touching down, a huge gate lifts, greeting Kiryu with a neon metropolis, complete with a well-timed fireworks display overlooked by a replica of Osaka Castle. It turns out that you've been flown to the castle to compete in the Colosseum, a combat arena where only the world's best fighters can participate. Kiryu being Kiryu, begrudgingly accepts before being approached by some Yakuza types and a brawl breaks out. It felt good to go back to the traditional fighting style of the Like a Dragon series. While I loved the story and characters of Yakuza Like a Dragon, I just couldn't get past the new turn-based battle style, and I say that as a person who really likes turn-based combat. With Kiryu now an undercover agent, he has a range of new skills and abilities at his disposal, each as ridiculous as the last. He can use explosives, drones, a spiderweb-like contraption, and most importantly, jet-propelled boots that help him dispatch his enemies. While the first three techniques are great, the boots really encapsulate the epitome of the Yakuza series. Upon activation, Kiryu glides around the area at high speeds, wiping out enemies unlucky enough to stand in his way. It's fantastic. Although the Colosseum was the primary objective of this section of the man who erased his name, the castle beckons you to explore it and see what treats it has in store, and there were treats aplenty. On board the barge was a cabaret club, a casino, a boutique, and plenty of other distractions to get sucked into. I headed over to the boutique to see what outfits I could dress my Yakuza become spy in, and there was quite the selection. Ultimately, I ended up dressing Kiryu in an all-in-one leather suit with a masquerade mask, cat face paint, and bare feet, which made for a very visceral slapping sound as I ran around the castle. Classic Yakuza stuff right there. I then moved on to the highlight of my time with the demo, the Cabaret Club. When I entered, I was greeted with a choice of three hostesses to choose from, each one looking so realistic, I began questioning how the devs actually managed to pull it off. Well, it turns out that they weren't animated, and instead were actual people. FMV clips blended into the 3D world like some kind of inverted Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I made my choice and was taken to my booth where I began an absolutely ludicrous and downright hilarious FMV cabaret minigame, where I had to smooth talk my new hostess friend. We chatted about sleeping in, made cafes and karaoke before I went on my way. She seemed impressed, but then it's her job to be. After the club, I had a quick jaunt around the casino before I hastily made my way to the Coliseum, sensing that my time with the demo was nearly up. I selected through a couple of options, and then all of a sudden, I was in the ring as Majima taking on 100 different enemies. I got to experience his unique fighting style before eating dirt on the 100th enemy and was then cut off. During the 20 minutes I spent with Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, I had a giant grin on my face and belly laughed more than a handful of times. It felt so perfectly stupid and so incredibly... Yakuza that I couldn't help but get excited, and the game has gone from one on the periphery of my radar to one of my most highly anticipated games of the absolute stacked second half of 2023. For more Gamescom coverage, make sure to subscribe to Dual Shockers, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified when more previews like this one go live.